I'm going to show you how to add a circular bar chart to a PowerPoint presentation using the Engage add-in. But first, just make sure that you have the Engage tab selected here at the top. And then from there, you can click on the Infographics button. And from there, you'll notice uh, the circular bar chart. If you select this and click Insert, it'll add the circular bar chart and this uh, dialog window, which lets you update the data and configure the chart. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this window and I'm gonna select this um, chart and I'm gonna move it down a little bit. And the other thing you notice uh, is when I select this infographic, these two gears appear. So if you go ahead and click on those gears, it'll reopen this dialog uh, window. So to update this data, um, what you can do is uh, click on this edit data button. And what that does, is it opens an Excel embedded worksheet, um, which lets you update uh, the data that drives this uh, infographic. So every infographic here uh, is linked to an Excel embedded worksheet. And so I can update any value I wish right here. So I can update the uh, name of the uh, data point. I can also update the value. So this is the distance from the point to the epicenter of the chart. Um, so if you were thinking of this as a uh, regular bar chart, it would basically be the height of the bar. Um, the next um, dimension of data is the size of the point. So the higher the value here, the bigger the size of the circle uh, will be. And uh, the third dimension of the data is the actual fill color of the point. So the higher the value here, the darker uh, the value in the uh, chart will be. So if I close this, um, I don't need to save it because uh, it's an Excel embedded worksheet. So it'll automatically get saved uh, along with the uh, PowerPoint presentation within the presentation. And I'll just go ahead and show you uh, some of these options. So the first option is the uh, center color. So I can change the epicenter color to green. And uh, the other thing I can do as well is I can just, uh, now you see it's green. Uh, I can make this a little bit bigger. I can uh, change the size of um, that epicenter. And what I can do as well is I can add a label. So I'm gonna add a label, I'm gonna call this Paris. And um, the way you might read this information, you can pretend that this is a hotel that you own in uh, the heart of Paris. And um, the distance um, represents the distance uh, that the different um, guests travel to stay at your hotel. So the people from London don't have to travel as far and the people from Los Angeles would have to travel further. Um, and then uh, the next dimension of data was the size of the point. So perhaps this might represent the number of guests. So the bigger the point, the bigger the circle, the more guests um, come from this city. And finally, the final dimension of data was the color of the point or the color of the circle. And in this case, uh, that might represent uh, total revenue. So um, even though you might have a lot of guests from one place, maybe they don't provide as much revenue as uh, perhaps in this case, uh, for example, a guest from New York. Um, so I'll show you a couple of the other options that you can do to customize this. Um, the other option you can do in terms of the grid is to uh, not show the grid. Um, in this case, uh, I'll just show the grid. Um, and um, you can also add a thickness to the uh, data bars here. And you can also customize the number of uh, grids that you wanna show. So we went from five uh, to four. And so um, that uh, lets you customize that. Um, and then in terms of the point options, uh, so you have an option to show the labels or not show the labels. So in this case, I'll just uh, make sure to click that to show the labels. And um, in terms of the point size range, uh, so the range of values for uh, the size here was um, between one and 8.4. So if I choose, I can also, um, I can select either auto or fixed. If I select fixed, I can customize this. And if I put a value of five, 
uh, you'll notice that uh, some of these values like New York and London were uh, above that value. So now they don't fall into the range anymore. So I see six values in range. If I go back to auto, I'll see eight values in range and I see London and New York uh, calculate as well. Uh, the other option I have here under the max and the min, I can increase uh, the size, um, the max size for um, the size of the um, points here of these circles. Uh, the other option I have is I can uh, select legend here and I can show the legend. So in this case, uh, I can change the uh, title. So um, I can put uh, number of guests. And um, down below, the uh, same idea as the point size range options uh, is the fill range options. So the first option I have is to change the color uh, for the max values. In this case, I'll keep them blue. And then for the min value, I can change this color as well. I can change um, to a different color if I want more contrasts. So in this case, I see that New York is um, a real outlier in terms of uh, the values that uh, drive the fill color. In this case, uh, we can assume revenue. Uh, but I'll just go back and select white because I don't want as much contrast. And um, I'll just go ahead and click uh, legend. And I'll show the legend and maybe I'll just update the title to total revenue. So I'll close this and I'll close this window. And what I'll do is I'll select this legend. I'll just move it down so it doesn't uh, overlap. And um, that's the circular bar chart.